Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tyler Mount, and you're tuned in to this week's Be Way Zone Social Roundup Live. Y'all, it is a brand new week. It is a brand new year. It is 2017. Um, my New Year's resolution this year is to love Broadway more than I did last year, which I don't know if that's physically possible, but I'm going to try my very best. And what, what a better way to start than recapping the first week of the year's Broadway social posts for all of you. We have a big day. We have a big show. Be commenting below because I want to know all of everything you think. Okay, we're moving on. Story one is kind of a sad story. It's about closings on Broadway. Um, in case you didn't hear, Matilda, Fiddler, and Something Rotten closed on Broadway. Um, super, super sad, but one of the things I love about Broadway and one of the things that is so great about theater is no matter how good your show is, it ultimately always has to close, which fosters change and makes the artistic community grow. But rest assured, that some of these shows are going on tours so you can see it in a neighborhood maybe a lot closer to you than New York City was. So that's a great advantage. Um, but also you should check out all of these shows, like specifically Matilda's Twitter feed, because they filmed the final curtain call and it is absolutely incredible and beautiful to see all of the kids and all of the adults taking their last curtain call in Matilda. So you definitely have to check that out. Moving on to my next story, which is Roundabout Theater's Twitter post about Happy New Year. Don't despair. Just like Holiday Inn says, let's start the new year right. We have so much to be excited for this year on Broadway. Um, let me give you a few examples. Um, how about 24, count them, two, four. 24 shows are opening on Broadway this season still. So there are 24 more shows I get to go see on Broadway, which gets me really excited. Plus, we have Broadway Week, um, the Tony Awards for, edu for Educators, um, the Tony Awards in general, Broadway Con happening at the end of this month, all things Broadway. I mean, I love Broadway, and this year's going to be great because we have a lot of things to look forward to. Which leads me to my next question, which is for all of you. What are you most looking forward to this year in the Broadway season? Comment below or tweet us at BBZone using the hashtag, hashtag RoundUpLive and let us know what you think. Moving on to my next story, something I think is really ironic and really funny and really precious, and it is this. It is in a Transit's Instagram post. They did an entire Instagram takeover when they performed at the opening of the new subway line. In case you don't live in New York, there is a new subway line that runs up 2nd Avenue. The queue is extended now, which is so exciting for people who live on the Upper East Side. But it was incredible because in Transit got to go and perform at the opening, and in case you don't know what In Transit is, it's an acapella musical completely about the subway, MTA, in New York City. So it's super ironic. I love it so much. I wish I could have been there, but go over to In Transit's um, Instagram so that you can see the entire takeover because it's something you don't want to miss. Okay, guys, we are moving on to one of my favorite subjects on Earth, and it is Darren Chris. Y'all, I love B-Way Zone, but I love them even more now because we did an entire summary about Darren Chris's career. Because if you didn't know, um, almost five years ago to the day he made his premiere on Broadway in How to Succeed in Business, since then, he has just like skyrocketed into the living room of every American on Earth and probably every person on Earth with a TV, period. Um, we did a fun summary, so be sure to check it out on bwayzone.com so that you can check out Darren Chris and get your Darren Chris fix for the day. Um, and it makes me think, I know my favorite Darren Chris moment was seeing him in Hedwig. What is your favorite Darren Chris moment? Be sure to tweet us at bwayzone using the hashtag Roundup Live and let us know so that you might be in an upcoming episode. Oh my gosh, we have people commenting, David and Jordana, Jordana, oh my gosh, so glad you're here. Get ready for the next topic because... It is my favorite one of the day. And it is this tweet from Kristen Chenoweth that says, 2017 Purge has begun. Rehearsal pants from Wicked? I think it's fine. Ha ha ha. So a seventh grade Tyler who remembers watching rehearsal footage from Wicked remembers these like cargo pants. They exist. They're Kristen Chenoweth's. I would buy them from her. I'm that type of person. But get ready because the story gets even better when... Kristen Chenoweth, excuse me, Adina Menzel responds and says, I want them. Probably fit one of my arms, but I want them XO. I'm like, 
literally dead at this Twitter interaction between Adina and Kristen. It goes to show that the friendship and the bonds that you make on stage last years and years and years after you are out of the show or out of the show closes. I'm obsessed with that on stage and off stage friendship. Um, and I wonder what other Broadway stars are in love with each other, but don't know it yet. Jury's out, details to come. Let's move on to my next story, which is this. Waitress the Musical Karaoke. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me enlighten you. I know you've sung in the shower. I know you've sung in a car. But have you ever sung on a Broadway stage? I haven't. One day I might. Jury's out. However, it is super, super, super easy at Waitress to get on stage and sing. And let me tell you how. Waitress the Musical hosts a karaoke night hosted by Sarah Bareilles. And you can get on stage and sing songs from the show with a live orchestra. It doesn't get much better than this. And even on this night that they were covering it on Twitter, someone actually proposed to his girlfriend with Sarah Bareilles there at Waitress the Musical. Take note, everyone on earth, if you want to propose to me, it better be on a Broadway stage. Enough said about that. Check out Waitress's Twitter feed. And if you want to participate in the karaoke night, the next night is February 1st, and you probably don't want to miss it. Y'all, that was this week in social media. And I know I say this all the time, but this really is about you, the fans. So I want to know everything you're obsessed with, your favorite social media posts of the week. And this week, my friend Jay Jacobs, 123, went to great comment. She um, put us on Instagram, let us know she was there. And ironically, Jay Jacobs, 123, we saw Natasha Pierre and The Great Comet of 1812 on the same night. You were there. I was there. I loved the show. You clearly loved the show because you wanted to tell us about it. So if you want to be like a J. Jacobs123, be sure to tweet us or Instagram us at BWayZone using the hashtag RoundUpLive. And if you want more information on any of the topics I talked about today, including hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of Broadway social media posts, be sure to visit bwayzone.com. Y'all, thanks for hanging out with me today. You can follow my Broadway journey all year long on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter at Tyler G. Mount. Until next time, I'm Tyler reminding you to get obsessed with Broadway. Wow!